Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on, uh, this game. <laughs> first thoughts on this game, uh, let, let's call it Pokemon Speedy Beedy. <laughs> so, uh, I have played the original Diamond Pearl, I believe I got Pearl at the time. Uh, because, you know, all of the other boys were going, ooh, pink is gross, and got diamond, so I got pearl. That should have maybe been some foreshadowing there, but no, no I didn't pick it up for years. <laughs> anyway, uh, this time I've gotten brilliant diamond. The reason for that is that my housemate Lyra already got shining pearl, and it just kind of made sense to get the other one. So I have it. Uh, so yeah, I did play this as a kid, but not nearly as much as I played some of the previous gens. Uh, the one, like, I know essentially off by heart is Gen 2. Uh, I know Johto, like, the back of my hand. <laughs> uh, you know, I, uh, I'm not gonna recognize any of these places. Hopefully I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, I more or less picked this game up because I figured I would enjoy it a lot more than Swoosh. Uh, apparently Speedy Beatty, it's made by a different development team, not Game Freak, and, uh, I've seen Lyra playing a bit of it, and it looks really fun, and hopefully I'll be happy with it. That's, that's our objective. Uh, side note, New Horizons is here because Lyra was playing it and needed a bunch of money, so I just started the game and dropped a bunch of money in a town. Like, I haven't otherwise played the game at all. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's jump into Brilliant Diamond here. There was an update when the game started. I assume that's to do with online play, because it actually says on the box, uh, download required for communication features. Uh, it says on the, on the packaging. You probably can't see that, but there's like a little blue thing at the bottom there. Package does not have a manual in it, by the way. That seems to be the standard thing, but it makes me sad. Like, even 3DS games, they didn't have manuals either, but there was a manual built into the system. You could tap in the little online manual thing for any game, and it would give you one. The Switch doesn't have that. The Switch, Switch games just don't have manuals. And that makes me sad. Uh... Anyway, uh, the screen is completely blank right now. Uh, I'm not covering, like, a loading icon or anything. There is just nothing on screen. I love the language you would like to play in. Let's see, we've got English, uh, Nihongo, Espanol. Is that Nihongo again, or is that Mandarin? I, I, I can't read all of these. Uh, that's Korean, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Francais, Deutsch, Italiano. Yeah, I can only read some of these, but the only one I can actually speak is English. I'm gonna go with English. <laughs> Do you like to start the game in the chosen language? Yes. I don't know if you can change it later. It didn't say you can't, so maybe you can? Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Uh, hello. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor because my name is a tree. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Oh, it's Munchlax. We humans live alongside Pokémon as friends. At times we play together, and other times we work together. Some people use their Pokémon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. I think that's most people in this game, but okay. What do I do? I conduct a research where we may learn more about Pokémon. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Choose your photo from the lineup. Okay, so... Uh, this game, I believe, has less character customization than Swoosh, but you can see it does have at least this uh, choose your character thing. Instead of asking for a gender, it asks you for, like, the one that looks like you sort of thing from the style. Uh, I think that's closer to my hair, but I kind of like this one better. It w I would feel weird playing as, like, a character of color. Like, I that's not, that's not something I really should be allowed to do as a white person. Okay, uh... Okay, uh, let's see. So yeah, I assume much like Swoosh, it will gender me anyway, because I've chosen quote-unquote the girl. But we'll see. Your name is Danielle? Yes. Okay, so you're Danielle? A fine name, that is. A fine name, that is. There we go. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. 
what might his name be? Uh... I believe he was called Barry in the original game. Uh, but you couldn't name him, but maybe now you can? I don't really know a lot of... Hmm. I, I just don't know a lot of people who are boys. <laughs> um... Looks kind of like a Trent. <laughs> All right, Daniel, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokémon and people. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokémon. Uh, so I do know what this game's gonna look like. I know you've got like a chibi sort of style, kind of like uh, the Link's, Link's from Awakening. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly coloured Pokémon eluded detection. The rumoured red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. Oh no. Uh, I mean, you can find that just, just by playing like Gen 2. You just, just go to the Lake of Rage and, and there'll be a red Gyarados. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Yarados, brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Okay, so that's me. I'm a little baby. Oh, adorable. Yeah, I can have a little walk around. It's the latest game console, a Nintendo Switch. Interesting note here, you can see that it has blue and red Joy-Cons. My Switch currently has purple and orange Joy-Cons on it, so unlike Swoosh, this game does not take that into account. Which is interesting. Eject to PC. Pokémon Basics? People live alongside Pokémon in this world. The people that battle Pokémon are called Pokémon Trainers. I've heard that, yes. TV's turned off. Uh, I can't go any faster than this, by the way. Like, I tilt the stick a little bit, and I, it doesn't change my speed. I can also use the D-pad to move at the same speed, but it's quite slow. I cannot move diagonally with the D-pad, which is quite interesting. Like, I'm pushing uh, down and right in, at the moment, I'm only going right. I understand that, like, in the really classic games that's how it worked, but it seems a bit odd in this one. Got my bed here, go downstairs. <laughs> Danielle, Trent came calling for a little while ago. I, I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Okay, I'm gonna raid the fridge first. Mum's favourite dessert is in the refrigerator. Yum, yum, yum. Mum's kitchen is spotless. You can see your face on the floor. Uh, yeah, I said that already. Um, and I already... Go meet Trent. Okay, so I have bag and options. I believe in this game... Yeah, I can change my text speed. I'm gonna make it faster. Uh, yep. I'll leave it, probably everything else on the defaults for now. Um, yeah, that sounds fine. Uh, would like to save these settings. Oh, is that a typo? Did I find one already? Alright. Uh, I've got my bag. Is there anything in it yet? I have 8,000 money, and there's absolutely nothing in my bag. Oh yes, Danielle, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokémon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokémon, but you don't, so... Yeah. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, I can leave now. Okay. We can leave town. I believe I'll get the running shoes before long, and then, like, when I tilt the stick, I'll move a lot faster. Uh, but right now I am quite slow. Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. It's this person who's been excited about tech in every Pokemon game. I don't know what they're doing in all these different towns, but there you have it. Where does Trent live? Are you Trent? You're not Trent. Hello. 
It's true that while Pokemon do attack people sometimes, but the Pokemon also let you become friends with them. Oh, I'm having a bit of a yawn. <laughs> uh, shoulder buttons do nothing. X is the menu button. Y does nothing. A, B do nothing. Right stick does nothing. Minus and plus do nothing. I assume these will do something later, but right now they do nothing. Hiya, Danielle. Trent was looking for you. I think he's home now. Why don't you go check it out? I, uh, used to that already. This looks very similar to Pallet Town, I have to say. Like, the same layout, basically. It's just smaller. <laughs> like, I can't remember this game very well. Um, although I did play Pearl, as I mentioned. I just, it's been a long time. Listen, listen, Danielle, I want a cute Pokémon. Did you hear? The Pokémon Professor returned to the next town over. They say he was gone for four long years. Wonder if he's found some amazing Pokémon while he was gone. That wasn't a great old lady voice, I'm just trying. I'm trying my best. <laughs> uh, I assume this one is Trent's house? Looks like it's slightly bigger. Oh! Thud. <laughs> what was that about? Oh, hey Danielle. I'm going to the lake. You should come too, and be quick about it. Okay Danielle, I'm finding you one million poke yen if you're late. A lot of poke yen. Oh jeez, forgot something. What'd you forget? I guess I'll go in and ask him what he forgot. Can I find him one million poke yen as well? Better take my bag and guidebook too. Oh hey Danielle. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million poke yen to find if you're late. Oh my god. I'm gonna steal your Joy-Cons. Oh, I can't. Okay, I have my bag. I don't think I have a guidebook. Is that something I can get? No idea. Am I late? Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokémon in a lake? I mean, yeah, the game started with it, like... I, I, I think it might be important. That show got me to thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokémon like that in it too! That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we'll go find a Pokémon like that! Oh, uh, you're following me. Uh, can, can I talk to you, or you just, you just zap through me? Okay. I guess I'll go this way, because I want to avoid the tall grass. Alright, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. What's going on? Professor, there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Lucas, we're leaving. Professor, you've been gone for four years now. How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokémon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Uh, you can play one-handed. ZL is the same as A. Excuse us. Let us pass, please. Sorry, folks. But you can just hold it like this. What was that about? Those two... Huh? Danielle, let's go check this out. Dot dot. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. I bet a wild Pokemon is gonna come out. <laughs> it's... a briefcase? It's as big as my head? Most people forgot it here. Look how big that briefcase is. It's gigantic. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but it's so huge. How are we even going to carry it? But who were they? I heard them say, Professor? Wow, but Pokemon? Oh, look at my little surprised face. That's cute. What's going on? 
Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Well, which one do you want then? Um. Hurtwig. Imcha. I think Piplop is my favorite. Go with Piplop. I I'm big on water starters. <laughs> Although Score Bunny is the obvious choice for Swoosh. I think Piplop is pretty good here. Oh, I'm much taller now. Hello. We encountered a wild Starly. Go, Piplop. Yeah, in the battles, you like norm normal proportions instead of chibi. It's a little odd. Uh, I might need to move my cat my face cam because I think moves will be showing up in this corner. I think the top left is probably the best spot for it. Yeah. Face cam up there. Yeah, I think that should be fine. We'll see how we go. Piplop used pound. Wild Starly used Growl. Piplop's attack fell. Piplop used Pound again. Oh god, my attack keeps falling, so I'm, it's gonna take forever to do this. Uh, I'll try one more time. Oh, okay, that was enough. Goodbye, Starly. Your Pokémon gained experience points. Uh, I believe in this game it's the same as in Swoosh, like you automatically have experience share on all the time. Which is kind of annoying, but also it does simplify a lot of things, so... It's not one of the big problems I have with Swoosh. Wah, your Piplop totally rocked! But my Turtwig was way tougher than yours. Oh, you picked Turtwig? Yeah, you're on hard mode, man. <laughs> they were other people's Pokémon. We had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Ooh, you found the briefcase? Rasa would have gone through the roof if you knew I forgot it here. Huh? What? Eh? <laughs> did, did you guys... I'm not a guy, but go off, I guess. Did you use these Pokémon? Oh man, how am I going to explain this to Professor? This is the Professor's briefcase, so I'll take it, okay? I assume the professor will be completely fine with it. What was that about? I don't know what's going on. Daniel, let's get out of here. A Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. What do you mean, my Pokemon? It's not yours, it belongs to the professor. <laughs> Are you paying attention? You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon, they're not ours, thank goodness. But I want to spend just a, l a little more time with this little guy. Oh, Okay, you're following me. Why do you say you go on ahead if you're following me? You better go return that Pokémon. Have a look. Check summary. Oh, a baby! Gentle by nature, somewhat vain. Okay, special defense up, defense down. Hmm, that's alright. I think. Honestly, I'm not very good with natures and stuff. Hopefully that's alright. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Lucas that you used our Pokemon. Let me let us see. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Hiplop and Turtwig. Hmm. I see. Well, that's how it is. Lucas, I'm going back to my lab. Uh, yeah, of course, Professor. Wait for me. You should visit us at our lab. The you should visit us at our lab later. I think we'll be seeing you. What's all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Danielle, we should go home too. We should probably go to the lab actually. Give his Pokemon back. It looks like I'm carrying, like, a sleeping bag or something all the time because of that, like, little side bag thing I have. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Trent are unharmed? The rest you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sand Gem Town. I've heard that he's well known for his studies on Pokémon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Danielle, I think you need to visit him in Sand Gem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokémon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. 
Oh, I know. Dang it, I'll put these on. Running shoes. Yeah. Going to San Jun Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Isn't that just nifty? Okay, as you can see, yeah, we're moving faster now. I tilt the stick just a little bit. We sort of walk slowly. But if I tilt it a bit further, I go real fast. I can also use the D-pad and hold the B button, like you would in the original game if you want. But it's probably simpler just to use the stick. There we go, nice and fast. Uh, if I heal automatically? Yeah, it looks like it. Off we go. I assume Sand Gem Town is to the right. Trainer tips. Don't be shy. Talk to anyone and everyone you happen to see. By talking to people, you will, blah, you will get invaluable information and advice. I do like invaluable information and advice. The Pokemon's health, its HP is getting low. You should go home and get some rest. I mean, I, I knew that, but thanks. <laughs> oh, I think that wasn't a random encounter. I think that might have just been... When you go into this grass for the first time, a Bidoof shows up. Go, Piplup! I could use more experience, honestly. Piplup use pound. I can't catch a Bidoof yet because we're too early in the game. Otherwise, I would be trying. Pop! Goodbye, Bidoof. The Pokémon gained experience points. We're about halfway to level 6 now. Neat. Hello. Hi, I work at a Pokémon. You know that a Pokémon's health is measured by hit points? HP for short? Pokémon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. Pokémon's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you some potions as a sample. These ones are free. It'll automatically go in your bag's medicine pocket. You said that would go there automatically. Why did I have to put them there? Shameful. <laughs> I need to get like five? N. Pretty good. Hey, Starly, what's up? Uh, also, like Swoosh, this game shows you which moves are effective and super effective if you've already fought a Pokémon of the same type. Oh, not the same type, you've fought the same Pokémon before, so you know its type. Which I think is a nice feature. Uh, I think it's an improvement on the game, so I like that it's there. It does still leave me guessing occasionally because it's like... I've never seen this before, I don't know what type it has, the game won't tell me. I did like that animation that Stelly had, that was pretty cute. Experience points. Oh, level up! Increased my stats a little bit. I learned Water Gun, which is much better than Pound. I think it's better than Pound. I might just check. Check moves. Power 40. Oh, it's the same, but I have the same type of attack bonus, so it's twice as good. It's the same power, but it's a better move because of stab. Hey, Lucas. Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please, come with me. The prof's waiting to see you. I mean, you didn't tell me to come here. This is our Pokemon research lab. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> it happened again. <laughs> What the? Oh, it's you, Dan it's you, Danielle. That old guy, he's not scary as much as he is totally out there. Ugh, it doesn't matter, Danielle. I'm out of here. See you later. What was that? 
Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. I like the little door animations, they're very cute. Finally, you've come. Danielle, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Again, neither of you told me to come here. Was I just supposed to guess that I'm supposed to come here? Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alright then. Alrighty then. I'll give that Piplop to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yeah, of course. Uh, let me see. Piplop Mars. Uh... Hmm... Paula, there we go. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Yeah. Your friend Trent told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I'd like to entrust you with Piplup. Am I ever glad you're kind toward Pokemon? You weren't, well, ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Ahem, let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. Seriously though, look at my, like, uh, shoulder bag I have there. It looks like I have a big sleeping bag with me all the time. <laughs> First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Oh, I can say no? Let's find out what happens. I can stand here without speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man. Let me ask you again. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Yeah, I'll do it. Hm. Good answer. You obtained the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will make record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Danielle, I'll ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokémon in this region. I've got the same kind of Pokédex as you. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokémon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60, 60 long years, even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokémon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokémon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Danielle, your grand adventure begins right now. Professor asked me to help, so I'm going to go out and fill the Pokédex pages too. That makes us comrades working towards the same goal. Comrade. Yeah. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? No war without the class war. Okay. Uh, I've got a kitchen over here. I didn't get any Pokéballs yet, but I might in a second. Professor Rowan invented a new Pokédex working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. Was it Oak? <laughs> hey, Danielle, I want to show you a few things. So, follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokémon Center. You can get your Pokémon healed if it's been hurt in battle. Find a Pokémon Center in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokémart. The shop where you can buy and sell all sorts of items. Danielle, since you're a rookie trainer, you won't be able to buy very much stuff. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh, yeah, right, Danielle. You should let your family know you're helping Professor Rowan put together his Pokédex. You may have to travel pretty fast, so you should let someone know. Oh, but first, go help your Pokémon at the Pokémon Center. You'll be safe then. Okay, be seeing you! I, I like the little chibi art style, it's, it's very cute. Hello! Oh wow, Pokémon are so cool, I wish I had some! You can help yours get stronger by having them battle. Don't forget what's happened till now, I better save this. There, now I can take a break. That one doesn't make as much sense because of auto-saving in this game, but it's alright. Ooh, found an anti antidote. Interesting that this game doesn't tell you what an item does when you get it for the first time. That's a thing Swoosh does. Uh, you really have to tell your mom that you're going on an adventure. I've got a Pokedex. It's pretty empty. 
it looks like it only shows sections that I've, like, seen Pokemon from. Like, it's only girls up to 13, because Bidoof is number 13, which is interesting. Uh, what did I want to do? I want to check my bag and check out the antidote. Yeah, it cures poison. Normal stuff. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh yeah, it's 8 o'clock. I guess that's that's darkness time. Hello, and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your child Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. Pick healthy! Thanks. Oh yeah, that's um pretty standard Pokemon Center just there. Let's head back and let my mom know I'm going on an adventure. Hello, Bidoof. I still don't have any Pokeballs, so I don't think I can catch this. I'm not sure if I can buy them yet. Could have used Water Gun. Ugh, it doesn't matter. I'll do it next turn. <laughs> Actually, is Water Gun special? Because that was only my physical attack. It is. It's a special move. Neat. Good stuff. I'm gonna crit. Yeah, these games were made, like, the fifth special split happened, physical special split happened with the original Gen 4, so it would be very strange if it weren't in this, these games. Uh, but it is in these games, so all good. Hey, hey mom, I'm going on an adventure. Hey mom, I'm the main character in a Pokemon game. That means I have to go on an adventure all by myself around the world. Welcome home, Danielle. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest, dear. I mean, I wanted to tell you I'm leaving. What's up, Danielle? Wow, Professor Rowan asks you to do something that big. Okay, dear. Go for it. Your mum's got your back. Oh, I know. Danielle, I've got something that you'll find useful. You obtained the guidebook. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you're curious about something and have questions during your adventure. You may find an answer. Gee, your journey full of adventure. Envy you, kiddo. Gosh, you're not alone. You have your Pokémon with you. You could go instead. I'm just joking, Jenny Hill. I'll be alright by myself, dear, so you go and enjoy your adventure. I'm exposed to new things and experience new sensations. It makes your mother happy, too. Please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokémon you caught, dear. Okay, the guidebook. I assume that's basically the manual. Hmm? Hey, excuse me. Oh, it's Trent's mom. That's, that's her name. Her name is Trent's mom. Excuse me, is my little Trent here? Oh? No, he's not. Oh, he must have left already. Ooh. That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least want him to take this. Not to worry. Danielle will deliver that to him. Won't you, Danielle? Can I say no? I got a parcel. I couldn't say no. Bye-bye, Danielle. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please say that to my Trent. Okay. Oh, Danielle! You're forgetting something important. Hmm? Oh, I'm wearing my hat now. Yes, that hat always did suit you well, Danielle. Now, off you go! Okay, that was the important thing I was forgetting, I guess. Hey, hey nerd, what's up? That ledge is one way. Jump down for a shortcut to Twin Leaf Town. Thanks. Is that Japanese writing? It looks a lot like Japanese. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, 
Hey, Lucas. Danielle, do you know how to catch a Pokemon? I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch, okay? Uh, I do know how to catch a Pokemon. Hey, Bidoof. Go, Chimchar. Oh, of course, you have Chimchar. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you damage it. Yeah, its HP is down. Time to throw a Pokeball. I believe it lets you, like, quick select Pokeballs. Uh, again, like Swoosh. Once you've used them once. And that's how it's done. Actually, I should have lowered the target's HP some more. Yep, the important thing is to lower the Pokemon's HP as much as possible. See, a healthy Pokemon isn't easy to catch. Oh yeah, they also get easier to catch if you make one of your Pokemon and put them to sleep or such. Here, yeah, Daniel, I'll give you some Pokeballs to get you started. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. If lots of Pokemon with you, will be able to travel farther. That way you'll have a better shot of meeting more Pokemon. See you around. Okay, can I go now? Alright. Oh. Hello, Bidoof. I guess I should try to catch you. Yeah, I can just press X to use a Pokeball without having to go through the menus. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. Is this a mouse? Isn't it like a beaver or something? You're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so battle we must. I mean... Our eyes didn't meet, I just walked past you without looking at you. Hey Tristan. Darling, huh? So you got? Alright. Go Paula. Oh, you're faster than me. I see how it is. Why'd you bother with a quick attack if you know you're faster than me? Okay, ground's physical only, so... I think I win. Yeah. Da 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 da! Too strong, too strong. Don't be shy about talking to trainers you'd like to battle. Pokemon grow stronger and stronger from battling. Pokemon transport Pokemon in your team that are not involved in the battle. Alright. I have a trainer card now. Why why am I holding my arm like that? What's with that pose? <laughs> oh, this game has contests? Neat. I haven't got any badges yet. You can have a little peek at the trainers that you have to fight to get the badges, which is kind of cute. I spar with my little eye. A trainer! A battle, please! 
last Natalie. It's Natalie. Oh, sweetie. Hello, Bidoof. I probably should have healed before starting this battle, honestly. But uh, they're lower level again, so I'm probably fine, honestly. Some water guns. They do have two Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Level up. Another Bidoof. No, we don't have a switch. We fine. See, we're fine. Oh, oh, boo, I can't win. Oh, sweetie. So sad. Oh. My Pokemon are all tuckered out. I need to go to a Pokemon Center. That's right, you do. Wait, they gave me 20 Pokeballs to work with? That's a lot. Hmm. I'm just gonna use a potion, there we go. Hey Starly, haven't caught one of you yet. What level are you? Three, okay, I'm gonna try Pound. I'm a much higher level than you, that should... Yeah, that looks good. And then you're gonna use Growl. Yeah, I should be able to whittle you down pretty well. Ah! Critical hit. Oh well, I get the experience. Level 8. Oh, another one immediately. Cool. <laughs> Hopefully because of the growl that won't be too much. Uh. I really need, like, false swipe and stuff. I I'm not very good at this. <laughs> you wanna fight? Let's have a Pokémon battle. Hmm, but I'm gonna win! Y you say that, but you're probably not gonna win. Sorry, Logan. Oh, you have a Shinx? Oh, adorable! Look at that little Shinx! Oh, oh you're in trouble. Oh, we have Intimidate. Alright. Uh, actually, Electric is good against Water, isn't it? I think Water isn't bad against Electric. Yeah, I, sh I should be fine. Thunderstruck will do a decent amount of damage, but even though it's super effective, I have a level advantage. Yeah. Sorry, Shanks. Friends girl, yay! You're like, wow! Yeah, I am. <laughs> well, here's Jubilee City. Hey, Daniel, how many Pokemon have you caught? Oh, one. Huh? I think you should catch some more. I'm a bit more of a challenge raising a lot of Pokemon, but it's worth it. The more Pokemon you have, the happier you'll be. In Jubilark City, there's the trainer's school. Check it out, Daniel. Oh yeah, Trent went to the trainer's school earlier. Okay, see you around. Work hard on your Pokedex. Okay, let me see here. Let me just heal up first.
I assume this is the trainer school because it looks fancy. <laughs> yep, there's Trent. Hello. Hey, Danielle, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Danielle, what brings you here? You've got something for me? You delivered the parcel. So, what is this? Score! It's a town map! Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Danielle, you take one. <laughs> hmm, well, according to the town map, I guess... Oh, Orberg? Orberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'll be perfect for raising the Pokémon, I just call it. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. I want to know when you get the watch, the Poke-H, whatever it is. It's, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, the GWS isn't ready yet. I don't know what it is, but okay. Jubilife City, City of Joy. <laughs> oh, cute! I'm trading Pokemon with my buddy. Yeah, you are. Oh, hello. Oh, you are a Pokemon trainer? You're gonna have a- oh, here we go. You're gonna have a poke po poke h here? poke h is short for Pokemon Watch. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture poke -Hs. Known that I'm now conducting the poke -H promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilee City. If you can find them, I'll give you a very own poke -H. That doesn't seem like a good way to make money, but go off, I guess. Hello. Hi, I'm a Pokeage campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining EXP points? Yes. I assume if I say no, I don't get the watch, and I want the watch. Pokemon grow stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Different Pokemon throws into evolution. Here you go, your Pokeage coupon. The coupon won. Okay, I gotta find some more clowns. Oh, look at the Shinx! I believe, um, later in this game you unlock the ability to have a Pokemon follow you around. And that's exciting, but I haven't got it yet. Hello. Yes. Pokemon might hold a single item. Some items become effective as soon as they're held by a Pokemon. They are always eaten by Pokemon as necessary during battle. Here you go, your Poke H coupon. Coupon 3. Okay, so I must have missed Clown 2 somewhere else in town. Okay, you can't leave town until you have until you have the watch. Okay, that makes sense. I believe you need the watch in this version of the game because it's used to use like HMs instead of teaching them to Pokemon. What's your question? Yes, the moves also have types. Pokemon's type matches the type of a move it uses. That move is made much more powerful. Here you go. Coupon two. Okay, now I have to give those coupons to the uh guy who wanted the coupons? This guy. Bravo! I, I gotta watch. <laughs> the R button. Okay. So, in the original game, this was a DS game. The Poke H was on the bottom screen at all times, and you just played on the top screen. In this version, obviously they can't do that, so instead... Uh, you tap R to make it come up, and you can play with it like this. Calculator. That's a step counter, I think. I'm not sure why the number's already that high, given that I only just got the thing, but yeah, it's a step counter, as you can see. Uh, this is like, just like a status of how much health they have or something. I think that's the health. Most of the time. And yeah, you can add more apps to this as you progress through the game. But yeah, we got it now. Hey, Danielle, tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Ahem.
Oh, you got a Starly. Congrats. Okay, you're still faster than me, but Growl will not affect my special attack, so I'm not bothered too much. <laughs> Don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. I do like that animation. It's very cute. Neat. Ah, uh, Turtwig is grass type, so... I don't want to switch Pokemon because my other Pokemon is really weak, but I might have some trouble with this bit. <clears throat> level 9? Oh, that's my level. Try water gun. Yeah, that does almost nothing. And defense is rising every time they do that, which means physical attack. Yeah. I might have some trouble. I just keep using Water Gun because, like, their defense is only going for physical moves. I'm gonna try. Well, not great. What do you have? Attack of Wild Defense Curl. Was I supposed to get, like, a Fire-type before this, or...? This is, like, the first fight in the game that's unavoidable, basically? No, your Pokémon's HP is not low. You're thinking of my Pokémon's HP. There we go. What just happened? I lost? Well, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm with the world's toughest trainer and you know it. First thing to do is take on the Allberg City Pokemon Gym. We're gonna toughen up for that totally. I mean, you kind of kicked my butt there. I only just managed to scrape through. <laughs> if like you'd actually knocked out my pip flop, I would have just been screwed. Does this game have different music for Pokemon Centers at night? It sounds like it's like a more chill version of the theme, which is cool.
Did you know? Yeah, I did know that. And a Pokeball? No way. Yeah, they use PowerPoints. Yeah. We're always together. I'll show you how we bonded. Dallas. Okay. Cricketot. Hey, Cricketot. That's cute. I think Bug is neutral with water. I think. I'm very bad with the types. It seems to be neutral. Right. Struggle bug. Oh no, my special attack. That's what I need to use water gun. Probably fine though. Yeah. Level 10. Sorry, Dallas. Caught me down. Found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. You did. Hey, Les Caitlin, you look exactly like Les Natalie. Are you like twins or something? Grass type, but oh, actually, yeah, I probably shouldn't use that move. What does growth do? Increases something? Attack. And special attack. We'll use Pergula Pound then. Yeah, that did a much better job. Uh, Starly, no. Goodbye, Stally. It's so their animation on losing is so sad. Use these technical machines. TM98. Rock Smash. New feature? The Hidden Moves app. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, there's, there's an app in the phone here that you can go to that lets you use things like Rock Smash. Uh, once you've unlocked it. Not sure why there isn't a menu of just all the apps you can go through. Like, this is how it was in the original, but it would make more sense to just have a menu of all the apps. We can't rock smash because we don't have access to... Oh. We don't have access to the gym badge yet. Hello, Geodude. Okay, I can defeat you very easily, but I would like to try to catch you. What level are you? Five. Uh, I'll try pound. I'll see if that... Is weak enough, maybe? Yeah, that's definitely weak enough.
gonna keep defense curling all day or what? <laughs> I'm gonna try a water gun. That is super effective, but it might not kill it. We'll see. Uh, my impatience has been the death of me. <laughs> Hello. We're coming up on about an hour, so I probably want to stop recording fairly soon. Hey, Curtis. What have you got? Another Shinx. Oh, adorable. Yeah, you have Intimidate, so my physical attack goes down, so I'm going to use my special attack move. I, I know. Sorry, Curtis. Oh, you look so sad. I think I can avoid these trains, but I'm not going to bother. Because they're very weak. Picnicka Diana. Oh, you're adorable. Hi, Picnicka Diana. Uh, I'm going to punch your Badu in the face, sorry. I assume Badu has higher special defense than physical, because... Pound seems to be a lot more effective. I mean, it's also because water is not good against grass, but... What's that? Leech Seed? Worry Seed? Oh, it's Worry Seed. Yeah, it just changes your ability. It doesn't really matter. It was Torrent, but Torrent only matters when I'm at low health, and I'm not going to be at low health in this fight, so... No, we're good. Psyduck, you're like water psychic or something. The weather disappeared. What weather? Okay, that's not very effective. Oh, tail whip, adorable. Makes my defense full, right? Yes. Uh, I found. That's quite a bit better. Traffic is big. Ducks aren't that big. Sorry, Dana. Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, so yeah, uh, this game is... It's basically Diamond and Pearl. Oh, hello. Uh, oh yeah, this, this fellow shows you where the gym is. Yeah, I saw Lara playing this part of the game, so I'm familiar. I'm just going to go to the Pokemon Center for now. That's not the Pokemon Center. It's over here, yeah. So yeah, it's it's Diamond and Pearl. If you like Diamond and Pearl, probably the game for you. Uh, they haven't... They, they have improved some stuff. I like that you have options uh, for like volume and stuff immediately. Like if you compare that to Swoosh, which did not give you these options. You had to like collect a thing to unlock the ability to change the volume, which was so weird. And an accessibility problem as well, so I'm glad that this is not that's not a thing in this game. Um The po the poke it's basically identical to the way it was in the previous game, but I feel like that's kind of a problem, honestly. It should be better. Um like it should have like at least two buttons so that you can navigate through the apps more efficiently. Um, I can understand that they redesigned it to do that, but they should have redesigned it to do that. Uh, I also think, like, it's not really a problem specifically with this game, it's kind of a problem with Pokemon as a genre. As not a genre, as a franchise, I guess. Um, there's too much text. <laughs> uh, in a fight, like, it, show it says, you know, uh, used water gun, then it shows the animation, then it says, you know, it was super effective, it was a critical hit, all are separate messages. If you think about something like, uh, 
Octopath Traveler or even like Final Fantasy or essentially any other RPG, those things are just shown as like little pop-ups and stuff and like little icons and they happen simultaneously instead of taking turns to appear. It, it really feels like the battle system for Pokemon hasn't evolved since the original Game Boy. <laughs> like, but like there's more types and there's more mechanics and there's held items and stuff, but the actual combat structure of, you know, you go into the menu, you pick your thing, your thing happens, it shows a message saying what's happening, another message that says what the effect of that was, more messages, 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 over and over. It, it's not necessary. It, they could streamline combat a lot and make it more engaging and no more difficult to understand. Uh, if they used more iconography, if they used animations that happened simultaneously with the move happening. Like, instead of saying, you know, Hiplop used Water Gun, it could pop up a little box saying Water Gun while the Water Gun animation happens. Like in Octopath Traveler. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, I'm noticing it here, but it, it's fundamentally a problem with how Pokemon games work. Like, they shouldn't be like that because it's such a waste of time. <laughs> It is very, very slow. Um, and I know that's such a general criticism of just the entire series because they're all like this, but... I, I feel like there are cues that these series are should, the series should have taken from other JRPGs over the past... What is it, 20 years or something? Uh, the, past, the past two decades? Um... The genre has evolved a lot, and there are a lot of things they could do to make the battles more streamlined and more fun. Um, I think maybe Let's Go was trying to do something like that by having the catching mechanic where you throw Pokeballs like in like in the mobile game, but otherwise Let's Go was, was very much a throwback to older, not as good things. I mean, good things. Gen 1 was good, but... It, it didn't really evolve on things outside of that, it was very retreading existing ideas. Granted, this is a remake of Gen 4, so like, retreading existing ideas is the thing that happens a lot, but... Yeah, anyway. This game, I'm going to enjoy it, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. But I can see things that are problems with this game, specifically manipulating this thing, it should be a lot smoother, like, I understand that having one button in the original is like an aesthetic thing, uh, but they, they should have given it like an app menu or something to make it easier to manage. Um, uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, and yeah, yeah, I, I am, I'm like, I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy going to the underground and mining for fossils and gems and stuff. I'm gonna enjoy getting badges that have names, <laughs> instead of just being, you defeat the fire gym, here's the fire badge. I believe the one here is called the coal badge, which, you know, it's not creative, but it's a name. Uh, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this game, but I can also see places it could be improved. <laughs> um... Game design is just a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is Pokemon uh, Speedy Beedy. Uh, what it was? Yeah, Speedy Beedy. Uh, and yeah, if you enjoy, you know, classic style Pokemon, go to all the gyms. It's kind of almost grid based. Uh, you've got this fixed perspective for the whole game, and you've got these fairly outdated experience mechanics and stuff, but they're like quintessential parts of the series, so they're staying. <laughs> um, then yeah, you, you're probably going to enjoy this. Oh, interesting side note, uh, TMs do break in this game. Uh, they usually don't in, like, in this generation, Gen 8 or whatever, they made, actually I think Gen 7 is when they made TMs unbreakable. Like, reusable? But in this game, they are not reusable. Uh, you, I have three of them because if I use one, it will break. That's kind of weird. I'm not sure why they went with that instead of just having them be unbreakable, but... 
I guess the original Diamond and Pearl worked differently, but it's still strange. <sighs> um, but yeah. So, um, yeah, that's this game. Pokemon Speedy Beady. Uh, I do want to see what character customization stuff is in here. I'm probably not going to do another video of this. I'm probably just going to play it off camera, but if there's something really major I want to talk about, I might make another video about that. <laughs> But yeah, my overall verdict is, like, if you enjoy Pokemon games, if you especially enjoy Diamond and Pearl, but if you enjoyed, you know, the original Pokemon games from back in the day, then you will probably enjoy this one. And I will probably enjoy this one quite a lot. Um, again, I can see issues in the way every Pokemon game is the same, and things that could be improved dramatically. But I'm going to enjoy this anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's about all I've got to say. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!